Do you feel now almost a responsibility to like stay at it all the time because so many people are watching and paying attention and drawing inspiration from you? A hundred percent. I mean, like, I probably would have retired a long time ago, but I get these emails from people and it's like they're living through me. Like, their strength comes through what they know I'm doing. So there's so many times I want to get up and say, oh man, fuck it, I got mine, I'm good. And I'm like, fuck, fucking Tommy out there, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking Tommy talking Tommy about. Tommy in his email. <laughs> Tommy talking about fucking. He man. saved his life. Man, I ran ten miles last night because of you, man. I'm mm. like, you know, a lot of people can live off of that, and they can fucking be good with that. And you know, a lot of motivational people come out here, man, and run their motherfucking mouths about shit. And I know they are not doing shit. They sit back and they're fucking like, you know, they have their little brainstorming sessions about, oh, what should we say? What's gonna yeah. what's gonna connect with people while they're sitting their fucking ass? My brainstorming sessions is fucking out there in the fucking grip of life, fucking grinding. And that's where I think all my material comes from to suck. Every bit of it comes from the suck. Mm. And that's the difference between there's a, there's like a whole industry now that's dedicated to trying to help people get motivated. And a lot of the people that are involved in that are very unqualified. A hundred percent. Because they're not really doing anything. No. There's so many people that haven't actually done anything, but they'll try to teach you how to get your life in order yeah. and how to get your mind right and develop that warrior mentality. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, you don't have that. Well, they're utilizing the weakness of the world right now. Yeah. The world's in a very bad place. So the pe these, these people who are like con artists, they sit back and say, oh, I can come up with this. I can come up with this and this right here can probably make me some money. Yeah. So they're in it for, for, for fucked up reasons. There's just not a whole lot of people like you. You're, you know, I love that phrase, uncommon amongst uncommon men. Because it's, it's such a good phrase because it just shows you, you, you've been on this path for so long and you're grinding for so long, but you're also honest about there's moments where you don't want to fucking do this. Oh. Which is why <laughs> it's so interesting because you do it. Right. You, you do it without any reservation. You just go through it. Right. But you always talk about, I don't want to fucking do this shit, but you always do that's it. That's it. But that's what people need to hear because they feel like that somewhere out there there's some superhuman person who never feels despair and doesn't have any, there's, there's no, no hesitation. So they feel like there's this person that's so different than them and so much stronger than them and doesn't ever have any procrastination and you're like that's not me <laughs> no i love that phrase you told me once he goes sometimes i look at my fucking shoes for a half an hour before i put those bitches on <laughs> <laughs> it's a true statement but but what i do though man is i i came with this thing called perform without purpose and so many people they need to have a 5k a 10k I need to have a, a a a course in front of me i need to have something in front of me for me to get my fucking ass up and do some shit and that used to be me and nowadays you know shit for the past 20 some years i don't need fucking purpose and people miss out on this man the purpose we're all looking for this golden purpose is it this is it that is it making money it is is it my family motherfucker the purpose is you we forget that every fucking day i wake up and i don't want to do some fucking shit i'm like okay man do you want to be a bitch today do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? So I, I, it's perform without purpose. You have to learn how to get up and do shit when you ain't got no fucking 5K, no 10K, nothing. Nothing exists. Your life fucking sucks. You're in the fucking dungeon. But guess what, motherfucker? I'm still going to get it. Because when that time comes, because the time is going to come, when that purpose is there, you'll be ready. But most of us fucking aren't ready because we don't know how to do without having the golden carrot in front of us. Yeah. And so you're all fucked. There's also this thing where if you do it, once it's over, you get a break. Oh. Like that's what a 10K is. That's what a marathon is. I'm going to train for this marathon. And you're, you're training and you're training for that big day. But you're also recognizing when that marathon's over. Ah. That's right. That's right. And as you get better at that ah moment, the ah moment becomes less and less. So my all moments now are like, oh, I ran today, I went to the gym today, I did this and this today, I studied today. <sighs> I have about eight hours off. 
in those eight hours are glorious to me. And every day you go back out and you start earning that. And every day you wake up, it sucks. And when it's over, you feel better. It sucks, you feel better. And as you get going, as every step you take in that journey, as you're like, for me, run. I run every day. I fucking hate it. But every step I take, I'm like, all right, motherfucker, you're beating the demon again. <laughs>